Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in a couple of prior videos, we have taken a look at some Eberly stock products, most specifically this F1 mainframe. This to me is an absolute joy of a backpack product. This is really a platform. It's not so much a backpack, it's really a platform. It's what you bolt onto this, it's how you imagine using this, and it's how you adapt this to your needs that really makes this a wonderful tool in your backpack arsenal. So in this particular video today, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how I've put this into a good effective means for me. I had a family backpacking trip, I had to carry a ton of gear and I wanted to carry it effectively, comfortably, and just managed. And this F1 mainframe was capable of doing that with ease. And so I'm going to show you the different components that I was able to add to this. I'm going to show you how I carried it, my impressions, where I went, and all the details. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Eberly Stock who did provide this for review. And so now as we get to some field use with the F1 mainframe, keeping in mind the fact that I have covered this in a couple of prior videos, but at this point, getting it for the outdoor use, getting it for the backpacking application. Now, as we load things up, you'll notice I have a whole bunch of gear. Just to premise this video, I am carrying for not only myself, but I'm going out with a family of five. So me and my wife, my two sons and my daughter packing everything up, getting it ready and carrying it out into the field. Now, I'm not going to say I'm carrying everything for everybody. Everybody's going to have a backpack and everybody's going to carry a good amount of gear and what they can carry. But I am definitely going to take a brunt of this trip. I'm going to have a huge amount of gear on me and something like the Eberly Stock F1 mainframe is absolutely going to be instrumental in my success to carry things not only effectively but as comfortably as possible and I can say the F1 mainframe doing a fantastic job. So as I load this up, I am using a number of different accessories. The nice thing about the mainframe, it is part of the E-Mod system. So there's a number of items that you can use in combination with the mainframe itself to make a system. I'm using a large dry bag, an Everly Stock dry bag. I'm using the bat wings. And then I have some additional accessory pouches that I'm sort of bolting onto the outside. And all in all, this does come into play my ability to expand on the system, make it larger than it is just right off the get-go, absolutely critical. And the dry bag is a fantastic way to do that, where you get a little bit of protection from the elements, as well as the ability to just stuff and crush your gear, which is what I really do prefer to do with my backpacking backpacks. Now, as I continue to load everything out, you can see a good amount of gear, everything I'm going to need for an overnight with my family. Again, not just for me, but for them as well. The things I need for comfort, the things I need to keep my family safe, the things I need to keep my family having fun throughout the day because, well, it's a family backpacking trip and my kids need things to do. All the little essentials and all the food items and everything that goes into it without the proper layout, without the proper volume, it is just not going to happen. So again, the F1 mainframe, absolutely instrumental in my ability to do this. Now, all in all, there are a number of ways you could go. You can see I did choose to pair this up with the bat wings. These bat wings are absolutely fantastic accessory pouches. They do have some subdivided capabilities inside, but for the most part, they're a nice, large, open pouch. They give me a practical way to not only attach to the bag, but to get good amounts of gear inside and things that are otherwise fairly awkward. Now, if there is one thing I can say about this system, it gets a little bit loose, a little bit unwieldy. If you're not careful, you really do need to tighten things down, cinch them down, and really attack this with a plan but if you lay things out the right way, take your time and get everything nicely attached, it does work fairly well and things aren't sliding around while you're out on the trails. 
You'll notice too that this has an awesome camo pattern. I greatly like this particular pattern. I have always been a fan of the green, the Ranger green color. Eberly Stock doing a fantastic job. So you'll see my accessories kind of mix and match and play together very well. But again, this is a beautiful color. I do love this camo. You'll notice that I do have a tall frame. So the main frame coming in two different sizes, both regular and tall. I am about six foot one, 175 pounds at the time of this video and having something that's going to be a good quality ride for my body shape is critical and the tall was definitely the way to go. Now moving forward and hitting the trails, you'll see as we're out there a good amount of weight. I did not weigh this bag, but I can tell you it was easily in the 50 plus pound range. There is no doubt in my mind. We covered a pretty good distance, all things considered, about a five and a half mile trek into the wilderness with my family. Again, you can see they have their backpacks and they're carrying some gear themselves. And they did a great job carrying a good amount of equipment, all things considered. But it's the quality and comfort and ride capability mile after mile that keeps the F1 manageable. This is definitely a trip that could wear on me. It could wear on my shoulders. It could wear on my hips. It could really pinch some of my nerves. An improperly fit or improper ride on a backpack can absolutely create problems for me in my shoulders. I can get sort of a pinched nerve feeling after time. And I can tell you that the F1 mainframe has done a fantastic job at mitigating that. But all in all, the ability to get all my gear out for an awesome family trip just a beautiful experience and something that I can say I greatly enjoyed. Now, just to give you some specifications on the tall, this weighs in around four pounds, eight ounces with overall dimensions being about 29.5 inch by 11 inches wide. Has a beautiful overall system having built in compression straps, zippered attachment points, a Molly webbing matrix on the main panel, and adjustable ladder harness system. The ladder harness system is the key. It absolutely allows you to dial this into your overall body size, gets it to be a wonderful fit, and is really, again, instrumental in my ability to carry everything comfortably. And you can see, as I'm deep out in the wilderness, having some fun with my family, again, that was absolutely critical. So to get out to these beautiful places, to get out here with my family and to be able to carry everything, again, not just the safety, not just the warmth and comfort, not just the food, but everything we need for a good quality backpacking experience, the F1 mainframe was absolutely instrumental in my ability to do that, do it safely and carry a good amount of weight and load at distance the F1 mainframe, I can say I am absolutely a fan and I can definitely recommend it. And so, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Eberly Stock F1 mainframe in practical field use. Now, I think a lot of you could probably relate to how I use this. And even if it wasn't for the exact scenario that I was using it for, you kind of need to imagine your scenario and where this would come into play. But bottom line is this, the fact that it's so flexible and versatile and has the ability to manage good heavy loads, that is what's absolutely key. Now, there is also what's called the carrier frame, which is very similar to this. But what I like about the main frame versus the carrier frame, it's the fact that it has the shelf. This for me, and for somebody else, it might be sort of take it or leave it. But for me, this is what's key. It helps support that load. It keeps it from sort of hanging low, keeps everything nice and up and where you need it and managed. And then on top of that, it just is really a nice platform when I put this down, just gives it a good sturdy base so that my gear sits down so that it's not falling all over the place. It allows me to work in and out of this pack effectively. And that's a whole other aspect about this. 
Now, a couple of pros and a couple of cons. The pros being obviously the modularity, the ability to add whatever gear you want. And in my case, you saw a number of different pouches, number of different accessories, huge amount of gear, and just bolting it all over this thing. That is the pro, but the con is when you get into modular, sometimes it can be a little bit sloppy. So where I had the dry bag, and then I had that sort of, you know, outside beaver tail style, that worked well, it was effective, but at the same time, just a little bit sloppy. So I'm managing a whole bunch of straps. I'm managing a whole bunch of, you know, lashing points and things that I need to tie down. And I don't like a lot of loose ends while I'm in the bush. I mean, especially, I don't want to get snagged. I don't want to get caught. So that is a little bit of a con. It just takes a lot of maintenance to keep this thing tidy and really keep it managed. And the other part of it is, once you start adding all that gear, it gets a little bit bulky, a little bit wide, but what bag wouldn't? So bottom line is for me, I'd rather have something be a little bit bulky and need a little bit of management and to be able to carry efficiently and effectively. And one of the most important points is the quality of the carry and the ride. This is such a wonderful harness system. Everly Stock doing such a great job ample padding nicely done good and durable wonderful materials awesome shoulder straps the shoulder straps not overly padded they're just the right width so it distributes the weight nicely has some ventilation the straps are perfect if you notice i was carrying a knife i'm carrying my camera the things that i want to carry on my shoulder straps it does well and the fact that you have the ladder adjustment leaves this just flexible and versatile. So generally speaking, very, very nicely done. This F1 mainframe is a wonderful platform and really shows why for me, this becomes a workhorse, not just backpack, but a workhorse platform. And again, I think that's the key. Getting into something modular, something that's going to be just that, you know, one sort of particular frame that you can leverage in a number of different scenarios and not have to have a ton of different backpacks. So the ability to leverage this, not in my case, just for the backpacking, but for other people, use your imagination, see where this would work. This can haul all kinds of stuff. And remember at the end of the day, it's really intended originally for hunting. So a great piece of gear, again, to the people at Eberly Stock. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And for the rest of you, if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless 2 channel, which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things. At this point, that channel is growing quickly. So if you like what you see here on Outer Limitless, do me a favor and check me out on Outer Limitless 2. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.